I've got some MDF parts to make and I've got some of the pieces blanked out a little bit oversized this is one of the parts here it's going to be have a uh, hole going through it and a counter bore and then the two ends will be rabbited halfway through so I'm going to try to do it on my uh, vacuum fixture on the CNC to cut out the holes and do the rabbits on both ends but before I do that I have to make a template to go on the main fixture uh, just where the part will fit with the holes vacuum holes just under the part so I've already got the program uh, with the g-code made to route out the holes and also put a groove around it just inside the edge of the part and use some of this gasket material to uh, make a seal around it Looks like it didn't go deep enough for my groove. I must have not had the right depth in the uh, cam software to go deep enough, so I'll have to check that out. I've got the program straightened out. Looks like it wasn't cutting deep enough on the holes either, so I've got everything straightened out in the program now, so we're going to run through the program again.
this is just eighth inch uh, door screen gasket like for screen doors I believe is what it is I routed about half the depth of what the rubber is in thickness Now I need to mark a center line from side to side onto the fixture. That's two and seven eighths. So one and seven sixteenths. Then I'll mark a center line on the end of each part when I lay it on there to make sure I have it centered so it'll cut, make, make sure to clean up on each side. got marked on this uh, first piece here 
uh, cross in the corner there where zero zero needs to be because that's where I did the uh, G code zero zero or the pro program and I've got the uh, center line on the sides and the end to line up with the fixture so we'll set it on and line it up on the fixture turn the vacuum on and then we'll line the bit up to zero zero Well, that was real stupid. I don't know what button I hit. I meant to zero out the uh, Z axis and I don't know what I hit. Well, I had a little mishap when I was uh, trying to zero the Z axis and ended up going plunging into the board and dragging it across. So I don't know what the heck I hit, but got everything back to where it's supposed to be zeroed out. And I'm going to use this damage piece as my first one just to, as a trial piece got a brand new router bit on there so hopefully it's sharp enough where it won't uh, drag too much with the vacuum on if you pull real hard up you can't pull it loose but if you drag to the side you can so hopefully I've got the uh, feed rate not too fast and not too deep a cut to where it'll drag it off but hopefully it'll be okay so we'll turn the vacuum on and the router on and get started
I got lucky where the damage spot was, was right where the hole was. So it might be usable after all. So let me check the squareness and all the dimensions and uh, see how it did. Right on seven and a quarter there. Just a hair over three eighths, I mean three inches. Not even a sixty fourth though, so I think we're good there. Right at a half inch there. Right at a half inch there. Right at a quarter inch there. So I think we're good. I'm going to call that a success. Now I've got the rest of this stack here to do. And be done with this part.